Oh, they're immune to cold. Alright, Kasim, you're gonna have to get them. They're immune to cold. Kasim, what's going on? Where's your health? Kasim! He died! No! So you, like many other people, probably have a, a little bit of trouble once you get to hell. Your mercenary just cannot survive the onslaught from all the monsters. So this is actually today a guide on how to help your mercenary survive and just kind of an overall guide for your mercenary. Now this will specifically be covering the Act 2 mercenary because it is by far the best in the game and really you should not really be using any other mercenary in my opinion. I know I'm going to get the comment. Well, actually, Phil, people should do whatever is fun in the game. <laughs> well, you actually, you know what? Any other mercenary is trash and sucks, so you really shouldn't use it. So here we got an Act 2 uh, mercenary. Really, in my opinion, the only ones you really should go with are the Act 2 defensive mercenary that is the Cold Aura and the Act 2 nightmare mercenary that has the Might Aura. I believe it's offensive, but now in Diablo 2 Resurrected, you can look. So they're both from Act 2 Nightmare. One has the Cold Aura, one has the Might Aura. They're the only ones you should ever use. And the Cold Aura is used by almost everybody, except for some other uh, melee builds and a Corpse Explosion Necro, because you want them corpses to pop instead of having them all shatter when they're freezing. But if you have the Act 2 Mercenary, you can see here, this is a pretty high level one, level 96. One thing that's important to mention, if your Mercenary is a lot lower levels than you, let's say you did a bunch of bail runs, and you didn't necessarily do all the killing, your mercenary will not get a ton of experience. So if your your mercenary is like 10 or 15 levels below you, or even if it's just five levels below you, if you go back to Act 2 and get that mercenary, it will then be able to buy or rent or whatever they call it on this game, I guess buy a mercenary, will be the same level as you are, roughly. Not exactly, because they obviously vary two to three levels, uh, you know, up and down there. But... Sometimes this would happen if, you know, maybe I'm getting or I'm like half paying attention, I'm on stream, and I'm leveling and leveling and leveling, and my mercenary's just sitting there not getting any experience because I'm not doing anything and he's not really doing nothing. Don't forget that to go back and get a new mercenary of the one that you want, and then he will be a higher level, he'll jump up to you. So, first we'll talk about some more budget stuff. Most people should be able to get things like an insight. Early on, maybe in normal, you're not going to be able to get one. But anytime after normal, just make an insight in any four open socketed base. And then later on, you get a better base. And then later on, maybe you can find something even better. Here is a four socketed ethereal poleaxe. This is a Colossus Volge. It is important to note that this needs 200% strength. So a lot of people will overlook that and make an insight on this. And maybe their mercenary won't be able to use it. Maybe ever, to be honest. But um, a lot of the other pole arms have a much lower strength requirement. So just keep that in mind. One thing I did want to mention for the newer players, it is important to know that ethereal items will not lose durability on a mercenary. In fact, no items will. So you can make your armors or you can make your weapons out of ethereal items and don't ever worry about them breaking because like I said, they never lose durability. But that is an awesome, amazing option. Obviously, if you can get yourself an insight, you aren't really needing to watch this video here. But another budget option a lot of people go for is the Talrosh's Mask. Really important thing on here is the life leech because 10% life leech is huge and also it does have life and two all resistances. You can see over here, even at this high level, the resistances are only up to 60. If I put on this Tarash's mask, boom, 15 goes all the way up to 75. That's capped out the normal cap unless you have some gear that adds to max resistance. So that's why the Tarash's mask here is so amazing as a budget option. Super high life leech and super high resistance. Also with that life leech, don't forget, the more damage your weapon does, it, you get back a percentage of the damage that is dealt. So the more damage that the mercenary is putting out, the more, dam the more life you will get back. Now, something that can also help you deal more damage is if you have a higher increased attack speed or just a faster attacking speed base. So you see this Colossus Vulge, it is normal. You can get other bases that is that are faster um, if you look at this, just the base, not necessarily the rune word, but it is a great poleaxe. Its speed is fast, so you'll get off more attacks, therefore you'll probably deal more damage, and then you'll leech more life, which will increase survivability. So keep that in mind if you have the option of being able to choose a base. Um, 
Another thing that can increase your attack speed, it's probably the best budget option for mercenaries in my opinion, and you should be able to get one early on, either finding the one rune that is sort of remotely slightly rare to find, or trading for it, and that is treachery here. Don't worry about the defensive amount on here, I actually transferred this character over from my regular Diablo 2, so this is an e-bugged armor, which you can't do anymore, but notice this armor, it's a 2 to assassin skills. That does nothing for a mercenary, obviously, but 45 increased attack speed on armor is crazy insane. It has hit recovery for your mercenary as well, which will help out. But really, that 45 increased attack speed, faster attacks, means you leech more life. So that is one way to, that this helps survivability and all like and its damage output so it can kill more stuff and help you out. But also up at the top there, 5% chance to cast level 15 fade when struck. Though sometimes I've heard people argue this, I'm not... I guess I'm kind of back and forth on it, but some people will say put treachery in a base that's not ethereal That actually doesn't have the highest defense because you want to get hit to get fade to proc because fade is so amazing That will increase your resistances down here um, If you have any struggles with your resistances, not only will it reduce damage from the resistances It also has a physical damage reduction property on it that is hidden so you will take less damage from physical attacks. And that's just obviously self-explanatory on how that will help survive. Now, once you get later in the game, there's going to be other options, such as Andaro's Visage on the helmet. You see it's got 20 increased attack speed and 10 life leech. So it's adding more increased attack speed. And it's got the life leech. It's got a bunch to strength. So then you can obviously then uh, use different armors. And let's say your mercenary doesn't have enough strength to use an insight that will add to it. One thing to watch out for, this one you can't see, but you do see it has minus three to fire res. Inherently on the base, it has minus 30 to fire res. So that's important to watch out for because then fire attacks will take you out. I have a, a, a jewel in here that has a 27 to fire res, and I think it had a couple to strength. It had a couple on the magic find. So I plugged that jewel in to kind of erase that fire res pretty much and to add in the couple other stats on there. A very, very, very early on budget item that I should have mentioned probably earlier is right here. You make a blood helm. Um, I got videos about different crafting recipes that we can look up. Uh, I'll probably put a card up above me over here that you can check that out or you can just Google it, I suppose. But this is a blood helm. It will always get the life on there. It'll get deadly strike. It'll get that life leech. So that's the important thing. You will always get life leech on this helm when you make it. And I know it just takes a perfect ruby, one kind of lower rune, a jewel, and then you can get this helm from anywhere. You can buy it from a vendor, you can buy it from gambling at Geeds or something like that. But then you get the life leech and deadly strike. If you didn't know, that's a chance to do double damage. This is pretty low. I think you can roll five to 10. So it's kind of a low percentage, but it, it is something to add on there. And you get a little tiny bit of life. And there's other things you can get to bonus it out, like that cold res on there. Um, the mana obviously is not going to help the mercenary, but don't sleep on the blood helm there as a budget option for your act to mercenary. Uh, when it comes down to weapons, editor Phil will go ahead and put it up here. Uh, uh, pictures of some other examples such as the bone hue, if you find that along the way. Uh, if you find tomb reaver along the way, or obviously reaper's toll is another absolutely amazing option for a mercenary. Those are going to be a lot harder to get though than something like this right here and insight up for the helm um the undead crown i know has life leech and there's a few other options like the rock stopper perhaps or the steel skull has life leech the rock stopper specifically has some resistances on it and it has damage reduction up here of course also you can put the vampire's gaze that has damage reduction and life leech as well uh down on the armor there is obviously the end game fortitude, but that's going to be a tough one to make. If you can get yourself a shaft stop, plug that on here, or a durial shell is another one it has cannot be frozen, and it has a bunch of resistances. I think it's got some strength and life on there too. So there's other f few good options to plug in there, and if you have combination of this stuff, don't forget try to get the most increased attack speed, life leech, and damage output, and make sure you try to get those resistances up. It can be tough only being able to have a helmet armor and your weapon but the combinations i kind of showed you here should help you out quite a bit so make sure you check out one of these videos up over here youtube thinks you're gonna like it don't forget like button subscribe button give him a little tap a peace out hopefully i catch the next video and don't forget to keep slaying